Hi guys, welcome back to another video. We're Rugby Hounds and today we're going to be playing a game of Rugby 20, Cell Sharks vs Leicester Tigers, whilst talking you through some of our thoughts and having a bit of a discussion on what we want to see in the upcoming Rugby Challenge 4. Um, so yeah, we got this game a couple of days ago. Um, we've been playing it quite a bit, just trying to get the hang of it. Um, it's actually quite fun to play like both of us. There's no kind of like um, ultimate team or any other challenges. You can't do like a World Cup. It just seems like you play one-on-one -on -one game and that's it. They, they have a, a sort of ultimate team, but it can't really be classed as an ultimate team, I don't think. I think maybe a proper career um, would be nice to see where you could actually use finances to sort of buy players from different leagues. How about some tournaments as well? We could have like some uh, you could, like premiership tournament or kind of pro clubs, something like that, so you can play with like your mates and like kind of build a squad together. I think that would be good, sort of a online pro club sort of thing where you could play with your friends and against other teams. So you could pick like, make your own team, make your own player um, and play against other people online and try and get up to division one. That could work. Yeah, I'd say one of the major sort of pros of this game, which I'm a bit worried about in Rugby Challenge 4, is the licensing. Um, to have all the Premiership teams, um, all, most of the teams in Europe, to be fair, um, is pretty is pretty impressive. But it also takes it away from being potentially being in Rugby Challenge Four. So I'm hoping that we can still see Premiership um, European teams in in the next in the next game. It worries me slightly, especially with sort of Wales, Ireland, Scotland, some of the big sort of European teams, international teams. Uh, I would like to see them in Rugby Challenge 4. My favourite rugby game was definitely Rugby 08. It was just like you could have really close competitions. Um, it was a fast game. Um, it was quite easy to like learn the controls straight away. And you could kind of pick your own team. It was all fully licensed. But that's the problem with this game. If you're an England fan, you want to kind of play with the England team. You won't see any names. I'd like to see some more smooth online play as well because like we're currently playing on share play and that shouldn't be happening on a game in 2020 we shouldn't have to when we both own the game we shouldn't have to be playing on share play no i agree no i'd like to see that too i think i think it will be a big step up from this though in terms of like gameplay graphics um i just hope they keep the controls quite simple and they don't overcomplicate it like you might see on um rugby league live 4 how they've got all the different passing options just try and keep it as simple as possible make it easy to change player and stick with one player so you can like track down and rush the defence up. That's what I'd like to see. One area where Rugby Challenge 3 sort of had a few faults was the back line never got back and ne neither did the defensive line. So you were kind of playing on like half of the pitch. Um, whereas Rugby 20, they've done a lot better job than they had done previously and a lot better than Rugby Challenge 3 in fairness. I would like to be able to switch down the line um, Similar to like Rugby away in uh, Rugby League Live where you can actually decide which defender you want and switch very quickly. Um, just makes defence easier. So another problem with um, Rugby Challenge 3 was the unrealistic offloads. You'd be able to offload every time you got tackled. I know it was an Australian game and in Super Rugby they do offload every, every play pretty much. But when you're doing a game and you've got English teams in and stuff, you need to make it more generalised. Um, and still, some of the offloads in Rugby Channels 3 were fairly unrealistic. So that could be definitely somewhere that's looked at. With this new engine that they've got in, um, Unreal Engine, I think the gameplay is actually going to be completely, completely revamped and completely different, which is actually really exciting for a, a rugby fan. As much as running the, with the ball is fun, they sh kicking is a large part of rugby. And I think if they spend a lot of time, or they have spent a lot of time working on that, um, then it could make for a very good all-rounded game. Yeah, it's definitely definitely more so recently. It's just coming into the game more and more. You see uh, lots of up-and-unders, box kicks. Um, especially in the World Cup, you saw lots of box kicks. So it'd be good to kind of get that um, into the game. Uh, this game, I've noticed the box kicks don't go very far. You can't get them high in the air. You can't really chase a kick very easily. Um, so giving that option to compete in the air... Um, I think would be a really good addition. In a normal game, it's knock-ons, it's handle, yeah, handling errors. I think you need to have a really strong defensive line and they need to kind of keep that line uh, with the AI. Otherwise, it's just going to be too easy to run and you'll end up never kicking the ball. 
Well guys, thank you for watching our video. Um, we'll be releasing another few rugby videos in the next coming days. Um, let us know what you'd like to see in Rugby Challenge 4 uh, and any feedback you might have, just drop it in the comment section. Like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.